All right, so today is my follow-up doctor's appointment, finally. Say good morning, Nathan. <laughs> we are still in quarantine, or not me, I should say. He is, until this Friday, until we break free. But we're feeling a lot better. We still have a little bit of a runny nose for him, but overall, tremendously better. And we have decided that we're gonna climb every single thing this week. So he's climbed his table, he likes to climb the ottoman. We've climbed our walker, <laughs> anything and everything we can climb, we will. Um, he even dragged his plastic table chair to his toddler bed and was jumping over the railing. So that's what we have in store. But <clears throat> obviously I'm not taking him to his appointment. He's still quarantined. So thankfully Rowdy is able to support today. So he is going to be coming home around 12.30 to tag team me so I can go to my appointment, which thankfully he was able to support because my mom brain was like out the window. For whatever reason, I was totally convinced that my appointment was tomorrow, Thursday. And then last night in bed, I saw it was on Wednesday. So I don't know where I got Thursday all last week. I was reminding Rowdy like, hey, are you gonna be able to support Thursday? Are you gonna be able to get off by one o'clock on Thursday? And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got on the schedule, got it taken care of. And then last night, I don't know why, it was in my phone calendar, it was on the calendar on the fridge as Wednesday, so I don't know where I messed up, but I did. But <clears throat> I just wanted to open up the vlog here and um, say that I'm finally getting my mole removed. When Rowdy gets home, I'll have you guys, I'll have him help me show you guys what it is that I'm getting removed. Yeah, you like my necklace? Pop got that for me. Dad? Yeah, Dad. Dad. Dada got that for me. Dada. Yeah, Dada got that for me. Dada. Is it pretty? Mama. Yeah, that's me. I'm Mama. Ada. Who am I? Hey, Mama. Dada. No, Mama. Dada. Mama. Dada. No, Mama. Mama. Yay, good job. Dada. No, mama. Mama. Yeah, mama. Mama. I'm mama. I'm mama. You're mama. Bubba. I'm Bubba. I'm mama, you Bubba. I'm mama. Oh, no. Oh, no. What are you doing? You're crazy. All right, so I am waiting for Rowdy to get home so I can go to my appointment, but I'm just sitting here and I'm updating Nate's baby book because the mounting squares that I ordered on Amazon finally came. They got lost and took like three months to get here, but those came and then pictures for his baby book came. So that's like the last step I have to do, but it just like took me down like memory lane because I'm putting in all the pictures from like 10 or nine months, 10 months, you go cuties. So it's just like, it's making me so sad and sentimental. I definitely have a lot of baby fever these days and so does Rowdy. But before we like think baby, we need to figure out where we're going and like getting settled. So, um, but we, I think are ready and we are definitely like, we got the baby feels, but just thought I would share that I'm updating his baby book. I also got our, since I ordered pictures finally, I got pictures in these frames. So we've got our family photo, Nate and Rojo, me and Nate, and then Nate's little baby picture. Oh, he's so cute. But I absolutely, absolutely love our family pictures. I have started to work on our Christmas cards. Yeah, it's only September and I'm working on Christmas cards, but I have to order them obviously way in advance so that they get to the island on time so that I have enough time to actually like send them out. This was the first time stuff has come like ridiculously fast from Shutterfly. Normally it takes like two months to get here, but I ordered these pictures like a week and a half ago, two weeks, and they already came. So that was phenomenal, but um, cutest thing ever. I changed those photos and Nathan, immediately realized it. it was the cutest thing he woke up the next morning because i did it like after he went to bed and he stopped didn't want to touch them but he just wanted to stop and stare and point at them and it was the cutest thing ever so he loves his little family 
You guys, Rojo is home. He's having a really long morning. Chief season is uh, taking its toll, but he's here. You're alive, you're thriving. We will get through this. Yeah. But as promised, I will guys, I'll show you the mole that I was gonna have removed today, or am gonna have removed today. Um, if you haven't watched any of my other vlogs, this is the mole that developed at the end of my pregnancy. Uh, I have no other like moles or like back knee or anything like that but this started as like a small zit that I picked at at the end of my pregnancy and it turned into this so Brady will do a little clip it's really not that bad but I'm very self-conscious about it so like I said it's small it's actually not that big but it's big to me and I'm so <laughs> very self-conscious <laughs> about it so I am getting that removed today and I'm very excited but I'm about to head out now that Roach is home so <laughs> Yeah. Heard it from a friend, she was in our bed, should have known better. Said it was the truth, she came on to you, yeah, but you let her. Knocked me over ten feet forward. Never knew I could sleep alone good, I've never been better. You're probably out there somewhere missing me. Wish I had an ounce of sympathy. Yeah, I tell my friends that I wish you well. Uh, it's fine. All right, well, I'm done. I was a little bit nervous about getting my mole removed, but we did it. There it is. They basically um, cleaned the area numbed it with a needle so that was like the only pain that I felt was the pinch of the needle going in but it really wasn't that bad at all and then they cut it off and then they did put it in a tube to send it to the lab she said that it looked benign 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 um, so I shouldn't be too worried but obviously there's always a chance so they are gonna send it to the labs and I should have those test results back in two to three weeks and then my blood work and my pap everything looked good so Thankfully, I don't need another pap for at least three years. And then, like I said, my blood work looked good, so no worries there. But um, I have to leave this Band-Aid on for 24 hours, or not 24 hours. She said I could, roughly 24 hours. She said I could take it off in the morning, and then um, they put a, it's called dry sole. Um, instead of doing any sort of stitching, it's called dry sole, so it basically makes it clot almost immediately. And so they put some of that on, so that the gauze and then just a band-aid and then I can take it off in 24 hours so um, it should scab over and then heal really nicely so I'm excited for that to be gone I saw it in the little vial it looks so much smaller in the vial but it felt so much bigger on my body but it is over with I'm on my way well not yet but I'm about to be on my way home to relieve Rowdy because he does have to go back to work and yeah so let's get going so I can relieve Rojo Did you have a good nap? You sleep good? Yeah. 
Hi, yes, this is Caitlin from Good Afternoon. I don't know if you've seen my messages, but I've been trying to get a hold of you for an update on our all of our pending work orders. No, ma'am, we've, we, we've been in contact for a couple weeks now. This is about our AC unit, our hood fan, the electrical outlet. Um, we spoke last Thursday and you said you were following up and then I haven't heard anything from you. But it's been almost, no, so it's been almost, almost three weeks since we brought it up to your attention and almost two months or more since all of these work orders have been placed. I mean, I'm, this is, we're about to get our command involved because it's getting out of hand. Yeah, but it, as, as our housing manager, that should have been something that you called us to let us know. Because the last time I spoke with maintenance when they came out for our AC unit last Thursday to make a repair since our house was 85, you told me you would call me to give me an update. Okay, so our AC has been approved to go ahead and schedule for replacement. Yeah, no, when, yeah, no, on, wait, so it, it has been approved or it hasn't been approved? So I can, so I can call, Sorry, so I can call maintenance to schedule yeah. them to replace my AC unit. Uh, no, no, so that, that uh, you're confusing me though. So I, but I, but I can also call them. I, I'm asking, I, so they will, t they will be able to schedule to replace my AC unit. It has been approved. Yes. Okay, so I, Okay, so I can call. What about my what about my hood fan? I'm sorry for getting frustrated with you. It's just really frustrating when these work orders were placed months ago and then it's been on your desk for 3 weeks and there has been no progress. Yeah, but you never followed up with me, and it's been almost a week. No more Google. Is that my cookie? Is that for me? You stole it from me.
Yeah. I love you. Let's get your booty down. Hey y'all, I feel bad because I feel like I went like full Karen mode on our housing manager, but I'm just so fed up with the work orders being open and there have been no progress on it. If you guys have been following, you know, like our AC unit, we put in the request back in April. Our other stuff we did when we first got back to Island and none of it has gotten repaired. And it has been brought to her attention, which it should have been brought to her attention even sooner than that. She should be tracking what maintenance requests are in her area, but she's not. Three weeks ago and still not all of them have been approved. So our AC unit, I guess, finally did get approved yesterday, but she never contacted us to let us know. It's almost four o'clock at night. So she told me that I could go ahead and schedule that, that it was approved. I called maintenance and they still have no idea that it was approved and they have to reach out to her to find out if it has been approved. So clearly she's not communicating and she's not following through and she's telling us one thing. She also, it really pissed me off because when I got on the phone with her, she acted like she didn't even know who I was, even though we've been in contact for weeks now. <clears throat> and she was like, I had asked her, well, I basically told her that I was following up on all my open pending work orders. And she's like, oh, well, did you email me with the work order numbers? And I'm like, ma'am, we've been in contact for three weeks. How do you not know what work orders I have? They all need your approval. So she couldn't even give me an update on my hood fan. She had no idea. She said it just came across her desk on Monday, even though I called her three weeks ago. And I'm like, why haven't you been following through without, if the maintenance didn't give it to you, why weren't you calling them every day asking for an update on it? So that is still pending approval. She had no idea about my electrical plug on my back patio. So I feel like she was just like talking out of her, you know what? So I don't know, I just got fired up and <laughs> Proudy high-fived me afterward, but I'm just like, oh, it makes me so mad. And now our AC unit, they still have to follow through with her to make sure it was approved. But now on top of like waiting for everything, they have to call the warehouse to make sure they have parts. And like we have to wait for there to be parts to even replace it now because we live on an island, everything's imported and takes time to get to island. So that, and then we also are gonna have to wait to schedule it till like we can work around our work schedules and chief season. So it's just so dang frustrating. And um, I will be putting in ice complaints. So I'm not just like talking, talking, talking and not doing anything about it. What are you doing? He's pulling all the tissues out of the box at the moment. But um, I'm going to put in an ice complaint, multiple ice complaints actually to our um, housing and um, ask for feedback, um, a request like a contact back afterwards. So I will be doing that, but yeah, the housing saga continues and I will continue to update you to let you know how long it takes to fix those things. But like NVG, do better. Like this is ridiculous that military families are having to do this and I shouldn't have to call every single time to get an update. She tried to say that she's messaged me and called me and I have my call log and I told her flat out, I've had to call her every single time. So like I said, I went full Karen, but it's sad that that's the only way to get anything done and it makes me sad for the families who aren't like me and aren't persistent and are just living with issues because i know that we personally i'm like this and i'm still living with issues i had a dang tile fall off the baseboard of my kitchen the other day and i just propped it back up because i don't want to deal with having to fix it and to jump through hoops to get it done so we just live with issues so <sighs> rant over but yeah that is what we're dealing with still with housing but I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog. Rowdy just left, he did have to go back to work. He waited a little bit longer because they were meeting down here at 3.30, so he waited and just went to that. I have no idea how long he's gonna be. He had a very stressful day. Chief season, like I said earlier, is definitely taking a toll on him, but we only have a couple more weeks to go and then he will be pinned. And still no update on any orders. I, you guys will be the first to know. And yeah, but um, if you enjoy my vlogs, I'm not sure this is kind of a hodgepodge of a vlog from the last couple days. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment who's watching. Welcome to the community. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss another Friday or a Sunday upload. Bye guys.